Hi, Brockton residents. It's Mayor Robert Sullivan, and thank you for tuning in. And again, the title of the show, Our Brockton, it's our community, our home. Again, with, um, with Brockton having so many awesome people, right? 106,000 residents in the city of Brockton. It's an honor and privilege to be the mayor. And as you know, I invite guests in to, to just talk. And uh, I have some special guest that you're gonna hear from today. Again, with Women's History Month and you know, being the dad of a daughter and just understanding how important it is to uh, help the next generation, the youth in the city of Brockton. I met this guest, Elena, uh, a while ago at City Hall, uh, Elena Palmarine. And uh, Elena, thank you for joining us today. You're welcome. This is awesome, and thank you for what you do and what you're doing. So for the viewers on the show today, um, who are you, where do you go to school, how old are you, and what are some of the like, things you like to do? So, you already know my name. I'm Elena Palmerin. Um, I go to the Gilmore School. I'm 11 years old, and I love to do scouting, to be honest. Scouting is an awesome thing. And I met you and your dad, Francisco, recently. The troops came. The troop came to City Hall, right? And we yeah. gave an awesome tour. And one thing that really stood out, everybody was great, but one thing that stood out that day was you. And it was myself, Council President Susan Nicastro, the City Clerk Tim Cruz. And you shared with us a very important mission, a goal that you're trying to do right now, right? And yes. Brockton is called the City of Champions. And you're doing a champion effort right now. Do you mind telling everybody what that effort is? So right now I'm working, I've actually been working since September to create my own, well, the first girls, all girl scout troop in Brockton because I really think girls will, girls deserve the opportunity to do stuff that the Boy Scouts do. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and one thing that you, know, you shared is that right now the neighboring community of Holbrook has uh, a troop, right, for girls, right? But your view is we should have one here in Brockton. And I agree with you, we should have one here in Brockton. So do you mind telling us a little bit of what you're trying to do? And really those watching, if you are interested in this, and I hope that you are, because I'm interested in this, and Elena's dad is, is off camera, but Francisco is very, very passionate about this as well. So what are some of the things that you want to tell people that are going to watch this on TV? So I would like to make it known that a lot of people ask, why does Brockton need a girl troop? Why not just go to a Holbrook troop instead? Why go through all this trouble? Well, I would mainly say I'm willing to go through all this trouble because Brockton is an amazing city and it's my home and I've really grown to love Brockton. So I really love it so much. So my friends here, they're all different and just Brockton is mainly my home and it holds a very special place in my heart. Oh my gosh, that's great. And I know a lot of other girls really think the same way. And I really would appreciate if, I really would love it if we were able to create a girls troop here because then I would be able to have I would be able to have an accomplishment yes. and I would be able to stay here in my home. Yes. And I just feel like most people in Brockton, some people can't really go to Holbrook mm -hmm. or just like can't drive. Right. So and it so would make it convenient, right, to be in Brockton. It would make it easier for girls, right, if that live in Brockton. It would make it easier for their parents, right, to take them somewhere in Brockton. What's your most favorite thing about being a member of the Scouts? Like, what's the best thing about it? Best thing about it is probably the equality. So, the equality is they are letting girls join the troops. Mm -hmm. And, to be honest, um, it is kind of a struggle mm -hmm. because most girls can't join because sometimes their parents don't want them to be around different genders mm -hmm, or so. Mm -hmm. And so 
I just really think we have to climb mountains to get equality, so why not just stand on top of one oh when joining gosh. the troops? So you should be the mayor. That's awesome. So I agree with you. So I have a daughter, Grace. I have a son, Tommy, and a son, William. And so what you just said really makes me proud, not just as the mayor, but as someone that was born and raised in Brockton, right? You said Brockton's a special place, right? And it is. And it's special because of the people. So, and you're one of those special people. You were trying to make a positive change, a beneficial change, right? What we would call like an amenity, something that is lacking that should be there, right? And so, if someone watches this and it's a young girl or it's a mother or a grandmother or a grandfather or a dad or a brother and sees this and says, wow, did you just hear what Elena said? How can Brockton girls get in touch with you or how would they get in touch with trying to get into the into the troop? So they would really get in touch with, I would say, possibly emailing someone from Scouts. If you just look up um, maybe on Google yep. or ask Siri to go to, um, I think there's a website. Okay, you know what we can do? We can say this, if you were watching Elena and you say, you know what? Yes, she's right, we wanna do that and I want my daughter, my granddaughter, my niece, anybody to join, call the mayor's office. We can coordinate that, it's 508-580. 7123, or you could always email me, right? It's Mayor Sullivan at C O B M A, C as in city, O as in of, B as in Brockton, M A Massachusetts. So it's Mayor Sullivan at C O B M A dot US. So you can reach out to me. So um, I support this a thousand percent. This is awesome. And so you're trying to do this. And what do you need? Like, what do you need to get this achieved? Of course, you need young girls interested in doing it. What else do you need? So what I mainly need is for people to tell maybe people they know, yeah. maybe kids to show show this to their parents, yes. be like, hey, mom, I want to join this, or hey, dad, I want to do this. Yes. To be honest, just tell like any of your friends, tell an adult if you want to join. Yes. And that's what I really need. Okay, and what are the ages? If you're a young girl, like what are the ages? Do you know like how old so, you have to be? So, to be in my troop specifically, yes. you would have to be a fifth grade girl going on to middle school. Okay. And to join the pack, you can really be any age, okay. but I would recommend trying to be like seventh grade and younger. Okay, okay, all right. I think that's great. It's so. I think the other thing that, I mean, I was really proud to meet you the other day, and I know the clerk was, the council president was. Everybody that came was polite and engaging and asked great, great questions, really great questions. And so the question I'd ask you is, is how quickly do you want to get this achieved? Like how, how quick can you get this accomplished, do you think? So I've honestly been doing this from September, it's March now. Okay. I only have one girl signed up so far, okay. but I will, I'm willing to take however long because I really think all the girls across Brockton really deserve this. So what I can do, so as mayor, I also chair the school committee in Brockton, right? So I'm gonna work with Superintendent Mike Thomas to get this out to the different schools. I also will, will reach out to Trinity Catholic Academy in Brockton as well. You know, um, Mr. Omari Walker at New Heights um, Charter School is a friend of mine, and you know, um, Dan Holds at Cardinal Spellman, and so I'll just educate and, and Superintendent Holly um, McLannan at Southeastern Regional. I'll reach out to everybody, right, and tell them about your mission, because that's what it is, it's a mission, right? And that you will achieve this. You said you only have one person, but one is better than none, and you're gonna keep yes. building and building and building, and so, I'm really honored that you're on the show today. It's called Our Brockton for a reason, and you're part of that city. Our Brockton is your city, it's my city, it's our city. So before we conclude, what are some like last minute things you wanna to share to the viewers? And you can look right into that camera right over there, and it's yours. So, look, I wrote down a whole speech. Go ahead, go started. for it. So, one thing is me and my dad have been working real hard. We've been passing out flyers 
for school. We've been passing them out for in parades. Mostly my dad's been passing them out in parades. But I'm just great. I'm really grateful that my dad and scout leader, I have their consistent support. Mm. And I'm definitely grateful that you have taken your time out of your day to help us with this mission. Of course. And Read your speech because it's awesome. You showed it to me before we went on. And you can take all so the time you want, but it's an awesome speech. So a lot of people ask, why does Brockton need a girls troop? Why not just go to a Holbrook troop? And as I said before, Brockton is my city. It's my home. My friends here are amazing and they're all different. And I feel like Brockton girls really deserve the opportunity, the same opportunities for scouting the same thing that the boy scouts do because a lot of my friends they are so adventurous yet they've never been camping or rope climbing or they've they don't know what it is to do archery or just do any fun activities i know my troops going whitewater rafting wow so one thing is and it's a mouthful so i might stumble (laughs) here we go there's morals for scouts and I'm gonna read the scout law I might stumble because it's a lot because you have to say it fast so scout law is that a scout is trustworthy loyal helpful friendly courteous kind obedient cheerful thrifty brave clean and reverent to some people that may just seem like a lot of words Mm -hmm. but to scouts it what it really means is that all of those words are a tool and all of those words will help you through the many years of scouting so each word is something you probably do like two each year and the scout law provides a tool we learn on how to be a good citizen in general and my my dad has been assisting me with speaking at school cafe nights for teachers and families and we've been passing out flyers at parades at school but it has been a challenge and this has been my main project since September and it's March now but even though it's taken a really long time at least we're trying and I really hope I will take as long as it takes to get this goal done. I'll wait till I'm 20 years old, but I still keep on working on this. And you will, you'll achieve it. So, I know that you took my den on a tour to City Hall. Yes. And the history I learned there was better than any museum. Really? It was better than any museum. Oh, thank you. That was fun. So, we had a good time. And I would like other people to be able to experience that too. So. I'm going to say Brockton is the city of champions. Thank you. And you are a champion in that city. You know that, right? So, again, um, I want to thank you for what you're doing. You will, through collaboration with people working together, right, we're better together. So if you keep, you know, working, and I want to thank your dad because, you know, as a fellow dad, it's a lot to try to help your children achieve their dreams and goals, right? But he's he supports you a thousand percent. He sent the most wonderful message to us that I read. It was heartfelt. So, you know, passing it out at the parades and talking, like that's the whole thing, right? We have to keep educating and informing. So people will watch this show. I will reach out to different people. I will also work with, like I said, the school folks, city councilors. I know Council President Castro, Susan Castro from Ward 4 on the south side, was really touched by what you said, and I know she wants to work with you as well. So um, we'll get there. I want to thank you for being on the show, and I can't wait for you to come back and give us an update when you say, you know what, Mayor Sullivan, I had one when I first spoke to you, now I have 21 girls. We just have to keep building, right? Yes. So any last thoughts before we end? Well, I'm thinking... And I'm hoping that possibly 
this episode, and I really am so grateful that you oh, you're took welcome. me on here. You're very welcome. And I hope this might inspire the city council and possibly have them help out more with getting girls. Absolutely. We'll work with the city council. We'll work with, in Brockton, we have three state representatives and one senator. They work in Boston at Beacon Hill with a Golden Dome. So we'll work with them. We all have to work together, right? That's what makes Brockton so special. Yes. So I want to thank you again. Um, you have uh, been able to watch, again, the 46th episode of Our Brockton. Uh, it really was my honor and privilege to have Elena join us as a guest. And if you are interested in, um, you know, learning more about um, her mission, which is a mission that makes sense in, in the year 2023, is something that should be happening, please reach out to the mayor's office, again, 508-580-7123, or Mayor Sullivan at cobma.us. Again, it's an honor and privilege to serve as the mayor of the city of Brockton. I'll be seeing you soon with the next episode of Our Brockton. Be well, stay safe. Thank you.